All right, so today we're going to do a lever replacement for the P300. There you go. Right. So first things first, you want to obviously remove your cap and adjustment screw here. Make sure the unit has no buildup pressure during disassemble. main spring to the side. So next we'll work on the body. Um, this is actually a half inch. Now with the lever replacement, the body really has no need, so set aside. Now we have to remove our seat. Set that aside as well. And remove the housing extension and O-ring. Here's the split ring in here that Usually requires some playing around with to get out. We're we'll gonna come back to that one. So decide to play around with us. So we'll go ahead and remove bonnet. I've already loosened all these cap screws and nuts just to make it easier. Side as well, and look at that. As well as our split ring that just fell out. So remove the remove the union gasket and our seat wing. And now we go ahead and remove the diaphragm assembly and set aside as well. And then finally, our stem. So now to remove the lever requires these two Phillips screwdriver screws to be removed. Unless you have your lever part and the entire unit's assembled and now essentially reversing the process with your brand new lever. Make sure your lever pin is in the new lever. Since this, turn it back to its little seat and take the Phillips screws back down. Make sure the Phillips screws sit flush with the bar that's holding the lever in place or else it will rattle. Stem 
by courtesy. And you returned your stem wings in place there. You take your diaphragm assembly. Make sure the lever catches within it. Now, bonnet and cap screws. Since this is just demonstrational, I'm not going to be tightening these cap screws all the way down. They are required to be torqued to 120, I'm sorry, 40 inch pounds. cap screws we can now work our way back towards the body so first things first take our union ring and split ring and insert them back in place now the split ring should slip right into the little crease within our union ring there you may have to use the other one to slide it so those sit flush and the union ring should be able to spin so next is our housing extension and now when you're reapplying the seat to the stem you will need to use a little bit of Loctite there turn that to place such we're going to take our body Now we return our body screws and washers. And now these, again, since this is a demonstration, I'm just going to hand tighten. They will be need torqued down to 120 inch pounds. You have your unit reassembled. The last thing you do is, of course, the spring. Slide it down through the bonnet along with your adjustment screw. Go ahead and use the large Allen ring. your lever in your P300.